24 Hour News 8's Marvis Herring broke news of this story earlier today. He's back now in studio with the latest from police. Marvis. Leon, good evening, and they never found a gun at that home. This all happened at a home on Thelma on the southeast side of Grand Rapids near Elliott Street. In the last hour or so, last few hours, Grand Rapids police confirmed that the suspect is a 54-year-old named Larry Walker. We looked into his background and we found this is his third arrest in the last month. It was hard to miss the taped off streets, armored vehicles and rifles on the southeast side of Grand Rapids today. People should be staying out of the area right now. All of it sparked by a family argument outside this home. That's when Larry Walker reportedly turned violent. Uh, went inside, came back outside reportedly with an ax. GRPD Captain Jeff Collard telling us Walker swung that ax injuring a relative's hand. Once someone got control of that weapon, Walker went back into the home. This is what police say he told family members. He's got a firearm inside the house um, that he want, is not going to come outside uh, without having some sort of a shootout with the police. She was just coming from church and a normal Sunday routine. A normal Sunday turned to anything but when Bridget Connor got a frantic call from her mother. Police were surrounding the home next door. What were you thinking when you got that call from your mom? I was panicking. I'm like, OK, I'm on my way. I'm coming to get you. Calm down. She was crying. Connor rushed over to pick up her mom. And when she brought her home hours later, she told me she's always been worried about Walker living next door. He didn't look like he was a normal person. So I was telling my mom to be careful every Night. This won't be Walker's first visit to the Kent County Jail. He turned himself in last Sunday for a charge of larceny under $1,000. In late July, he turned himself in after not paying child support. I frequently check on my mom because of you never know, you know, who you live next door, what's going to happen. Grand Rapids police tell me that the prosecutor's office will likely file charges for assault to do great bodily harm. That'll be tomorrow. We'll be following what happens. Leon.